All right, we're on Chapter 5, and uh, just to remind you about the objectives, uh, we're going to skip 5.3 and 5.6. First thing we're going to cover is short-term investments, in particular uh, trading securities. So corporations invest in debt and equity of other corporations. Most of these investments are traded on public exchanges. And because they're traded on public exchanges, they're often referred to as marketable securities. For accounting purposes, investment in marketable securities, they can have several different accounting treatments under GAAP. Here, we're going to just pay attention to one. So uh, we're not going to look at all the different types. We're just going to look at what are referred to as trading securities. And that's what they're called for accounting purposes. So a trading security, the company intends to hold it and sell it for a profit. So at acquisition, all we have to do is record the actual cost. So it's like if the company bought a car or bought some other property. So in this example, they're buying securities, Microsoft shares, 1,000. And I pulled this quote off of uh, Yahoo Finance, $46.14 per share times 1,000 shares, 46140 and you pay cash for those shares. Uh, at some point after the purchase, uh, Microsoft pays a dividend to the corporation that invested in their shares. So they receive the cash. Uh, it's $1.24 per share. So $1,240 in cash. And you would recognize that recorded as dividend revenue upon receipt. All right. We're going to skip investments in uh, bonds. So we won't do interest revenue, just the dividend revenue. Now, for um, trading securities, this is the most important part. It's, it's really different than any of the accounting that we've seen or most of the accounting we're going to see, which is you take cost and then you have a formula that you apply to the cost to adjust the value. Here, this we're going to do what's called fair value accounting. And fair value is the idea is like a market price. So it's a value at which willing and unrelated parties would pay for an asset. So on the adjusting entry for a trading security, we're on 1231, the end of the year, we go find the market price. We find it, and let's say it's trading at $50 a share. Well, we bought it for $46,140 if it's at $50 a share. If we were going to sell it, we're not actually selling it. But if we were going to sell it, we, uh, according to the market, we get 50000 That means it has increased $3,860. So assets are debits, normal debits. To increase an asset, we debit it. So we're going to debit trading security $3,860. This other portion goes into unrealized holding gain on trading securities, which will be part of net income. And that's about it for trading securities. Um, main focus here really was on this fair value treatment. It's a different way to measure and remeasure an asset. Uh, not most assets or many assets, most assets and most liabilities are held at some type of cost, depreciated cost, amortized cost, or the original historical cost. But um, so fair value is a different way to measure assets and liabilities. That's it for trading securities. And now we're going to go to receivables pretty much for the rest of this, for the rest of this chapter.